Warning. The content on this channel is not intended or suitable for minors below 13 years of age. If that is you, please click off and come back when you're older. By continuing beyond this point, you affirm that you are 13 years of age or older. What is going on, all you swears out there in Swearland? Welcome to SwearTube, the Swear Gaming Channel. Yep. Part 4, Black Sad. Part 4. And this is a. like a 50s world, I would say, in that area. 40s, 50s, something like that. Only the humans are actually animals. So. Uh, all the racism and stuff is actually imported onto this, the color of fur, uh, in this case. And we have, as you can see before you, Black Sad, John Black Sad, the detective, who's the main character of this. And at the moment, he is dressed in clothing that generally would not go on a cat, who also would not walk around on hind legs. The movements, of course, as you can see, are very, very humanistic. So anyway, uh, we're trying to figure out what happened to her dad, and there's also a prize fighter that we have to find, or she's going to lose a shit ton of money. Can we get into the boxing ring yet? Yeah, so I'll look at that real quick. So we can also make phone calls. Alright, so we can't get in the ring. And there's a guy working the bag right now, but he's really unhappy with us, so we're not going to bother with him. And we can no longer use the phone. Take a of these. Okay. The evil, the movement here, like I said, is very much like uh, the first Resident Evil. I don't know why. Something just doesn't add up. Hmm. Hmm. Right. So they're still trying to find more clues. Our car. Okay. So we got all the swing and jazz sounds right now, of course, from that time here as well. So the the background, the sound background to this is uh, probably something that, uh, and I hope hopefully not, but it might give me ding for copyright. You can just get in the way of all these people. Oh. That's interesting. You know what? Should we go to Sam's Diner? Back in our car, we can go to our office, we can go. Um, I think we can go to our car. I'm gonna try that after this. Maybe she can tell us who the Dunn guy's girlfriend was. This is really immersive. Like, Huh. Interesting. 
There's some really cool textures here. I, I dig this. This is a really neat game. Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I'm afraid not. It's too painful. I know. But we need to find Bobby Yale. Anything, any minor detail, could really make a difference. I'll try. Uh. Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I really can't remember anything. I'm sorry. Um, sorry. I think that's it for now. See you around. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Bye-bye. Hmm. I wonder if I keep going this way. <laughs> okay, apparently I can't do that. I knew that guy is. I could have got a cheeseburger for the road, damn it. Okay, let's go in my car. Alright. This is my car, this red thing. I prefer a yellow Cadillac, but I can't complain. See if this jerk is awake up in here. I might just be the last person in New York without a TV. Maybe that's how I should spend the bribe money. Well, Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know.
reductions. Okay, Mary put the wedding ring in the envelope and wrote Sonia Dunn on it. But why did she have the ring in the first place? And there it was, Mary's birthday, a week prior to that very day. Okay, all right, so I forgot that we had to do different things. Oh, collecting a lot of guns here. Hmm, I never would have taken Dunn for a gun owner. You open the safe? Yeah, and I think you need to see this. Can you tell me what it says? I can't read! Uh, I think this might be useful for the investigation, Mr. Detective. He left everything to me. Except some boxing trophies and knickknacks that'll go to Bobby Yale. When was it signed? It was written four years ago, just weeks after I moved to Buffalo. Do you think Bobby Yale read it before he disappeared? Maybe. All right. Thanks. Do you have the money? A few bucks. Just petty cash. I never asked about the gym's insurance. That's exactly what I'm reading now. So far it looks like your standard small business policy. Quite the story. And how did this 
friend of yours find out exactly? I'm pretty sure he saw the, uh... I don't even want to hear you. I just hope you prove your professional worth before the day is over. This is bad. <laughs> There's something I never asked you about your father's will. Congratulations. Right. You're one lucky lady. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, what do you think about Mary, the cleaning lady? Can't say I, I barely know her. And I'm not one who's quick to judge other people. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Okay. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Uh, Investigation okay, work takes know. time, as I'm sure you know. Okay. Or so. Let's do sword deduction. Arthur Tucker painted the racial slur on Yale's locker. Okay, so we're going to do some more of these deductions here. Um, let's see. Are you in? Okay. Yeah, you are? Right, I think we got one more. Right. Let's see what we can deduce this time. I know this much. The chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale. Okay, Jake. I told you! Desmond O'Leary. Huh? I know you work for him. Now you're just making stuff up. Why would you say that? I saw the shamrock in your locker. I know what it means. Okay. Let's say you're right. So what? What are you gonna do, huh? We're pals. I won't do a thing. But please, tell me the truth. 
Okay, I, I guess I should have said something. Business isn't going that well lately. Natalia was my last well-paying job, and it's been a while. Then, O'Leary shows up and offers me a, 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 a bodyguard contract. What was I supposed to do? Yeah, I understand. Seriously, you don't seem like the type to accept uh, shady offers. I've done things like that, and worse, that I'm not proud of them. Hey, uh, O'Leary might run an illegal gambling operation, but it's not like he's killing people or conning widows. And I, I'm just a bodyguard. I make sure no one gets hurt. What I do, including my contract, paycheck, is 100% legal. How bad can that be? Yeah, you're right. The fact that his business is illegal doesn't turn you into a criminal. We're only accountable for our own actions. But that's not what bothers me. I know you're covering up O'Leary's role in Joe Dunn's death. Huh? O'Leary? No way. I mean, I don't think so. Jake, please. Well... I guess there's no point in hiding it now. I was here the day Dunn died. Go on. I had to take care of some business for O'Leary. He makes me wear the shamrock when I work for him. As you know, I left the damn thing in my locker. Say no more. You came in the back door. How did you? Yeah, that's it. Joe had mentioned me from painting that afternoon, but I forgot. I stopped in my tracks when I saw him screaming bloody murder at Bobby Hill at the top of the scaffold. What exactly was he saying? Uh, something like, uh, if you do that, I'll call up the fight and make sure you never set foot in this gym again. I didn't want them to see me, so I left. Jay. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be pissed off. Well, you were wrong. I'm sorry, John. I should have said something. Don't worry. We all make mistakes. Time to go. I need to think about everything you just told me. Thanks, John. Rotary dial, baby. Rotary dial. You're gonna like what I have to tell you about the Dunn case. Dunn and the Jim's cleaning lady were about to get married. combination on Dunn's safe was her birthday. He even gave her a ring. You know, your typical suicidal bliss. Okay, I'm still not convinced, but I might have something for you. Oh, yeah, what do you got? Business is just about to pick up. Alright, so we're going to meet with Smirnoff, and then we're going to cut it off from there. Life is often our key, like a bad song. The notes come together but feel flat, unable to create anything resembling music. And yet, there are ways to string them together to create harmony. Ways that are not always entirely. I can't help it. 
It's just the way we cats are. Well, I can't help but be glad to see you. Yep, I'm beat. Starving. Just got back from the annual police medical. Not only did I have to fast, but I also had to chug two enormous glasses of water. John, you all right? I've had better days, and I'll have them again, I hope. We both deserve to. The thing is, I'd love to help you out with this case, but I can't. You know I work for the state of New York. If I had any information, I couldn't share it with a private eye. Even if it was lying on top of this table. You said you were starving. Why don't you go to the counter and order something? Hmm? Yeah, sure, good idea. If you'll excuse me. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, so we got the four bands. I'm assuming that this is the chest thing. The chest expander thing. Now that I think of it, I better eat it all. It's healthier. Thanks. Truth is, John, it all seemed clear to me before, but now... Please, promise me you won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. Sure, you can trust me. I give you my word. All right. In any case, keep me posted, will you? Yeah. Friend, you can count on it. Take care, John. As always, Smirnoff had given me new, potentially relevant information. Not to mention second thoughts. When an old dog like him gets that serious, one must be prepared to bite. Okay. Uh, you know, let's make some new deductions.
Mm. All right, so we still need to get more foods, apparently. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to go collect some more clues, and then we'll try to do some more deductions, which will be in part five of Black Sad, which is uh, a really kind of a wild game. It's, uh, it's, it's really interesting how this is all coming together. And I think we're going to go talk to the girl again, maybe? The Sonya? I think we'll maybe go talk to her. I'm not 100% on that. We'll see. We'll see. Come back for part five swears, and uh, you'll find out the same time I do. Until then, peace out.